We're going to do uh, fish and chips. Which so is, you call them chippers? Uh, yeah. Uh, you know, there, there are chippers all over Ireland, uh, almost one next door to almost every pub. Okay. So it's a very simple okay. dish. Um, and, uh, but it looks, oh, I've seen, I've seen the finished product. It is so delicious looking. Uh, so yeah, how much water? We put a one and, one thir thir one and three quarter cups of water. Okay. And then we just have a little sifted uh, uh, flour. Like two cups? Uh, about two cups of flour. And we just gradually add that into the water. So this is just a simple flour batter? Yeah, it's a very simple flour batter. Um, in England, they would use uh, beer in the batter, but uh, in Ireland, we'd prefer to use oh. water. We drink our beer. Oh, you know, okay. With fish. Have you ever tried it with beer, your uh, batter? I, I've tried it, and uh, it makes it a little fluffier than I like. You know, oh. you find a, a, um, a more slightly more bready batter in Ireland. Um, then and we then, use a little oh, baking soda. Okay, quarter teaspoon. <coughs> and that's, okay, that'll make a difference? That's going to uh, uh, rise the batter just a little bit, and it'll also help to brown it nicely. And a half a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Okay. So we just mix that until we have a nice smooth uh, texture. And scrape down this. We need to scrape down, down. the sides. Oops. Sorry. Okay. So uh, we'll uh, take our batter, and okay. I like to pass it through. A large hole strainer is fine, uh, just to make sure there are no big lumps in it. Okay. We'll use our rubber spatula to... Get all that out of there. Yeah, no lumps, so you don't have any... No big lumps, pieces. anyway. And Small you don't, you don't have right. any pieces of flour on your, on your beautiful fish. That's right. Okay. And then we just let that pass through there very easily. And what kind of oil do you fry in? Um, we, uh, I like to use canola oil. Uh -huh. um, no trans fats, of course. Um, and, it, you know, it's really important with the oil to make sure that it's clean. Uh, um, when oil gets old and, and uh, greasy, um, it, it'll adhere to your fish and make it a very heavy and greasy dish. Now, what kind of fish is that? We're using cod today. There are lots of different fishes that work really well. Boston blue cod is good, which is also known as pollock or haddock. Mm, uh, Ray yeah. is used in Dublin, and that's a, um, a you know, peasant uh, blue-collar dish that they would serve in the Dublin chippers. So we dredge our fish in a little bit of flour. If okay. you'd like to do one for me, that'd be I great. Will. And then just dip it into the batter. Okay. And then in a very similar... So does the flour just have, make the batter stick a little better? Exactly. Okay. Exactly. If we don't use flour, um, the batter will tend to slide off it and okay. you don't get that whole cohesive dish. Okay. So this looks good. So oh, it's, it, nice really does, it really does coat it nicely. Yeah, and you see how it's kind of the same thickness as mm -hmm. pancake batter. That's what we look for. And the oil should be what temperature? 360 degrees. Okay. Okay, so we just swim the uh, fish back and forth in the same method that you would if you were making tempura. Just you can use a tongs at home. Just don't swim your fingers in there. Yeah, believe me, I've done it more than once. And it takes about seven minutes, okay? Oh, it looks so good. And, uh... Can we wash our hands? Oh, yeah, just rinse that, that off if you'd like. Beautiful. So, don't overcrowd the pan. You know, this uh, pot this size, about four pieces, is perfect. Okay, you don't have to move anything right no, now. No, we'll just let it cook there okay. for a few minutes. Because we swam it back and forth, it won't uh, stick too long. Okay. Okay, so then the next part of the dish, of course, is the chips. And, uh, and do you make traditional French fry shape? Uh, yeah, exactly. The same, the nice long uh, French fry shape. And you use Idaho potatoes, are perfect. Uh, they have the right amount of starch. So I'll just cut them into slices first, very carefully. And you can lay it down on its side like that, makes it easier. Right. And then we have, then we'll take each slice. And I like my chips big, like that. Okay. You know, a nice. Uh, you soak them in water or? Uh, I like to wash them in water uh -huh. um, because the, it'll wash off some of the surface starch and they won't get too dark okay. and too brown. Okay, so then we fry them at 285 degrees. Okay. Uh, we, we fried these already yeah. for the first fry. Right, so they and get 10 minutes at 285 degrees and then that's a blanched fry. Okay. Make sure the potatoes are cooked all the way through. Okay. And then the second fry we'll do at 350 degrees just until they're nice and golden brown all over. Okay. So how many do you put in at a time? Um, about uh, So you don't use a fry basket or? No, it's not necessary to use a fry okay. basket. You can use a tabletop deep fryer, they work really well. Um, and then, you know, we don't, again, we don't, don't want to overcrowd so the oil doesn't come up too high. Right. Just about like that, a nice gentle simmer, bubbling way. Yeah. Great. And, then, and look uh, what comes out. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And then you get the beautiful chips. Chips, at the end. and that fish looks so beautiful. Just a little coarse salt, your yes. favorite salt. Morton's table salt works really well. Kosher salt is delicious. And what's this? And then, of course, oh, the, the, the classic malt, the malt salt vinegar. And, salt yeah. and vinegar is the way we serve the chips.